When Brianna Greer came to her parents' house earlier this month, they knew she was having a mental health emergency. So they called 911 and deputies arrived from the Hancock County Sheriff's Office. Hours later, Greer was in a coma and less than a week after that, she was dead. Officials say she fell out of the back of a moving police car. And if nobody don't realize what I'm going through or what we going through, I feel sorry for y'all because we love her regardless, unconditionally. Greer's parents say their daughter suffered from schizophrenia and was speaking erratically. Her family says they had called 911 in the past and gotten EMS assistance, but this time officers detained her. They thought she was going to get some medical help, not be treated like a, a rag doll. The Hancock County Sheriff's Office is not commenting, but according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, after deputies put Greer in the patrol car, they never closed the door before driving off. Officials say two deputies tried to put Greer in the car on the rear driver's side, but she lay on the ground refusing. So one of the deputies walked around and opened the rear passenger door. Once Greer was in the car, the deputy mistakenly thought he closed that door and they drove off. Investigators found that Greer was placed in the back seat, handcuffed in the front of her body with no seat belt. That we trusted them and that we thought that they were going to do the right thing and take her in. And if I thought that wasn't going to be, I would, I would never call them. If they had done their job, Brianna would be alive today. Greer was a mother of three-year-old twins. Tonight, her family is calling for an independent autopsy. Blaine Alexander, NBC News.